Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a huge mess. We are going to get downstairs in the basement and tackle the storage room. So I wanted to give you much motivation to tackle a problem area in your home too. We've got a lot to get done, so let's get started. So this is an area in my home that you guys don't get to see and there's a reason it's in my basement and you see what it looks like it's atrocious but we really needed to go through it there was a whole bunch of things that we knew we needed to get rid of things that needed to go to the trash things that we wanted to put on craigslist or facebook marketplace and we just needed to go ahead and start by getting everything pulled out going through what we had seeing what we wanted to keep and what we didn't now I don't have like a huge transformation on this because we're actually looking into more shelving, but we haven't quite decided what we wanted to get to put in there yet. So we're really just gonna be getting everything out and cleaning it all. So the first thing that we did was we went ahead and started by pulling everything out so we could go through it. So one thing that I wanted to make sure that I did was go through all of the containers that had all of our holiday decorations in it, get rid of the things that I knew that I wasn't going to be using anymore because let's face it, our tastes change like all the time. So I knew that there were some things in there that I wasn't going to use. So I wanted to get rid of all of that. And then that way it made space for me to either put more in that same bucket or actually leave a bucket that was empty that I could take out of the storage room and that would leave me more space too. And I also found that it was very helpful that as we were pulling things out of the storage room, I made certain spots for what I knew was gonna go where, like things that I knew we were going to put in the trash, I started a pile, things that I wanted to sell, I put in a pile, things that we were actually donating went in another pile. And then in another space, we put everything that we knew we needed to go through. And that really helped the whole situation. Like everything wasn't just in a big, huge pile and we had to go through it all continuously. It was easier for me to just go from one space to another. And as I was going through them, it was kind of nice too. That way I could take photographs of the things that we were going to sell. And I went ahead and put them online as I was doing it. So after a couple hours, this is kind of where we are right now. All of the totes have been gone through, so we know what we wanna keep and everything that went to the trash. A lot of this stuff is actually gonna be sold. So all of those totes there are all of the holiday decorations and the bikes and those big boxes on the side. I'll show you here in just a second. All of that stuff is gonna be sold as well. And eventually we're gonna get one of the freestanding kayak racks to put up there. So they're not just kind of like laying in the floor. They're actually too big to put in the storage room so they just won't fit. And it was actually really fun going through some of this stuff because I had the tote that all of the boys stuff was in from when they were little, like their first haircuts and some diapers from when they were newborns, their hospital hats and things like that. So I actually spent a lot of time going through that stuff. We're still here flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold and we don't know any way out of here. We try to understand how it all started to go wrong. But the 
So if you're wondering who I keep talking to over in the corner, Ruben's mom was actually over there going through some of her things as well. And we just kept going back and forth looking at pictures. But right now, this is what the storage room looks like. We've actually gotten everything out um, except for the stuff that you see here. But I went ahead and got the rest of the stuff out and started to sweep. That way we had a clean spot to start to stack everything back up and kind of look and see where we wanted to place everything, how it was going to be easier to get to. And like I said before, it's not a huge transformation, but we got so much stuff out and it's so much nicer to walk in there now. But like I said, we're going to be going and looking for some new storage racks and maybe some shelving. So stay tuned for that because I will have all of that filmed for you guys as well. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Finally, we are all done going through everything and this stuff here along the wall, all of that stuff is actually on the Craigslist or Facebook marketplace. These three totes here are the boys things they're actually going to pick up. That other big box and the bikes are also being sold. This all here is trash and this is what it looks like now. Like I said, it's not a huge transformation, but we went ahead and slid the bikes in there. That way they would be out of the way. So those are going to be gone. And then also these two green totes are actually going outside in our small shed. So those will be gone as well. So we've got that one there along the wall and then the other one in front. So those will be going outside and that leaves us with so much room. I don't know if you remember, but before you couldn't hardly open the door and walk in anywhere, much less try to get to anything or know where anything was. So I'm so glad that we took these few hours on this day to go ahead and knock that out. It's rare that we're both home at the same time and we know that we needed to get it done. So we did. So this is really a video for you guys to get some motivation to kind of take some time and tackle a place that you need to get done to. I always need to kick in the pants to get things done. But this also here, this little tote with the birdhouse in the box, that's my already done. I've got somebody that's coming to get that and then I will be done with my done. That's all I've got left. So again, here's just another shot of everything that's sitting over here on this side of the basement. 
And again, our goal is to find one of the freestanding racks for the kayak. So that will actually be the only thing sitting down there once we get rid of all of this stuff that we're going to sell. But I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick, motivating, clean with me basement edition video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I love you and appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Won't let you touch me, won't let you go to my head Cause I know I'm dealing with the